we have 24 agenda item speakers. Um, one of them is, is here present. The other, the other ones are recorded, and uh, the total recording time is 22 minutes. So I'll take the one that's here first, and then we'll take the, uh, take the recording. So would Mr. Richard Logis come up to the podium, please? Mr. Logis, please watch the, cam uh, the, the timer on the screen. You'll have three minutes. So please state your name when you begin, for the record. Rich Logis, L-O-G-I-S, Delray Beach, opinionsareworthless.com, regarding the board's proposed equity statement. A comment and two questions. Your equity statement is educational malignancy, and its victims are all children, parents in opposition, and taxpayers in opposition. Your statement is why every democracy in man's history commits suicide in the end. You either don't believe any of this, which would mean that your equity statement is a big lie, or the outcome is actually an infinitely more nefarious one. You do believe this, which makes you leaders of an educational cult whose singular mission is to toxify the minds, souls, and hearts of the most vulnerable of our population, our children. Your equity statement is no different from similar statements found in any collectivist nation. My first question is, where are the words math, reading, and science in your equity statement? And my second question is, have I, as a white male American, benefited from white advantage? Yes or no? If yes, show me where I have, please. There's one minute and 15 seconds left to answer the questions. Thank you. Mr. Lotus, this is not a time for the board to interact with you on this. Appreciate your comments. It's absolutely a time for the board to interact. It's our policy we don't do this, so we're not. So please put the microphone down and sit back in your seat. I paid for this microphone, sir. If you're done So how about you guys do interact with my questions and my statement? We're not answering your questions. Please turn off the microphone. And Let the record the show that you haven't answered the questions. Let the record show. IT, would you start playing the recordings, please? Karen Hinojosa, uh, I've already become aware that your meeting today is not regarding the masks. However, parents need to be heard, and this is the way we get heard, so you need to listen. We don't want the masks. They need to be optional in schools. Anything other than that is child abuse. You guys need to follow the lead of Pinellas County and other counties who realize that there's no leg to stand on anymore. You need to follow the governor's order and stop trying to make the quote unquote COVID student policy stand. Yes, it's George Warren and I want to make masks optional. Hello, my name is Jessica Jenny. I'm, the, I'm a mother of three children who attend uh, public schools in Jupiter. Um, I am absolutely outraged by the Palm Beach County School District's political tactics with regards to our children wearing masks. Um, it's time that the parents take back what is theirs, which is the decision-making power for our kids. The district continues to turn their backs on the majority. It's wrong. There are three vaccines. Masks should be optional. Enough catering to the fearful. They're the minority. They have the option to do virtual schooling. My kids have missed out on so much this year. Sports, field trips, photoshopped class pictures, masks all day, five days a week, six hours a day, even at recess. Our kids are being brainwashed into thinking the wrong way. In the meantime, our mayor is out pictured smoking and drinking at bars and at large gatherings without a mask. So is this a situation of this is for thee and not he? Because it sure does look that way. 
Um, let's be reminded that your power can and will be taken away. The pendulum only swings so far. You, need to, you guys need to make the right decisions. We're not backing down. Take the masks off of our kids. Hello, my name is Carol McCormick, and I have a child at Limestone Ele Elementary. I just wanted to let you know that I believe you understand that children are not as affected as everyone else with this COVID. I also want to tell you that most of you have had a wonderful childhood. We want our children to have a childhood too. We don't want them to have masks on for the rest of their lives, or how indefinitely. They deserve a childhood. You all did also. I did. The least thing that we can give is our children an option to have a good childhood unmasked and have a normal childhood. And I think we need to get back to it as soon as possible. Thank you very much. I think it's going to be a long time before these children are not affected by all of this. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Courtney Farrell. I am a mother of three children in Palm Beach County, and I am very upset that they still have to wear masks to school. I would like you guys to get rid of the mask mandate and make it optional. Children who want to wear a mask are welcome to. However, children who don't do not need to wear masks. I have a first grader that comes home with a dirty mask every day. I cannot do this any longer for him. The mask mandate needs to be done, but the governor's orders need to be followed, and masks need to be optional. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Alicia Woodward. I'm calling on behalf of my students in Columbia County School District. I am calling in regard to mask. It has been over a year before I need to get out of the mask. It is inhumane to keep them muzzled all day long um, like a dog. Um, my children are suffering emotionally. They are in, all in therapy. My children don't like school. Um, they can't sit on a computer all day and learn either. So please take the politics out. Masks are, are submissive. They are taking away our children's identity. They are teaching them to be fearful. They are teaching them to not trust. They are teaching to them to be scared of a virus that has a 99.6 survival rate. These kids do not affect anyone around them with COVID-19. Please make masks optional. Let parents who want to muzzle their child send them to school with a face diaper. Take these masks off of our babies. It is awful and inhumane. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Karen Berry. I wanted to express my support for making masks optional for the remainder of our school year. The, upon the recommendation of our Florida Department of Education, they have used science and data to um, express their support and recommendation for making masks optional for the following school year. But since the letter was dated April of this year, I don't understand why this, um, this recommendation can't be taken immediately. Um, I also am concerned about the discrimination against children with learning disabilities and the non-English speaking children who have difficulty while having to use a mask and um, those concerned about equity in our classrooms. So please make masks optional for the remainder of this school year and definitely for next year. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jennifer Showalter. I'm from Wellington. I am calling in regards to the topic of masks, and my uh, comment is that there's too much science to back the fact that we do not need masks, and I am asking for a recall of your policy on masks being mandatory. So I am asking to, at the bare minimum, make masks optional and you know best case scenario you get rid of the mask entirely. Thank you so much.
Hi, my name is Rachel Kelly. I have two children in elementary school, but I would like to return to school. However, we will not let them go if they have to wear a mask. I implore you to please make the mask mandate optional. Thank you. Good afternoon, board members and fellow parents of Palm Beach County. My name is Jessica Martinez, and I have two high school students in Palm Beach County at Wellington High. Today I am calling for topic BD2 to discuss the executive order and emergency policy placed by our governor this past Monday. I have reviewed your email that you sent out stating that the current executive order does not pertain to the school district. However, the executive order that he passed was to release all mandates that were placed upon counties and establishments due to the emergency order from COVID-19. Palm Beach County School Board, you informed us parents that you chose to follow the emergency order and the commissioners of Palm Beach County and you placed a mandatory facial covering over our students for their entire day of class. This decision was told was based upon Palm Beach County being under an emergency order. Now that that emergency order has been lifted, you have chosen to inform us that this is not a mandate, but a policy, and this policy does not cover the current executive order. I question you on this. If the mandate or policy, as you call it, was placed on our children, due to us being under an emergency order, and now we're no longer under the emergency order, then that policy slash mandate should also be removed and or optional. Furthermore, your current teachers and staff are constantly bullying our children to pull the mask over their nose at all times. When your very own policy uses the word should, which is not an obligatory form of a must or has to. Should does not mean that their mask has to be over their nose all day. And they continue to bully our children. I've even had teachers tell my child that he's going to infect everyone. They're also trying to upon, place upon our children disciplinary action for not wearing it properly. This is creating chaos. This is creating uncomfortable and learning environments. This is causing unnecessary stress. These masks are giving our children anxiety. These masks are giving them acne, facial rashes. These masks are making them feel like they have no voice. You have kindergartners who are afraid to speak because nobody, we understand no one wants to get sick, but you can't hide behind a mask. Please make it voluntary for our children. Thank you. Hi, yes, my name is Dawn Rosano, and my daughter is in the Palm Beach County school system, and um, I just want to thank you so much for having this meeting and giving us the opportunity to be heard um, as a parent. Uh, very, very grateful for that. I wanted to urge you all, please, to um, consider making masks optional at this point. There are many facts, uh, science um, on this side that children are not affected, um, no differently than the flu, and our children are being um, affected absolutely by the situation of wearing masks with breathing and allergies and a whole host of anxiety as well as um, social concerns and social issues. So I really thank you for um, considering this and looking at both sides and allowing us as parents to make the right decision for our children's health overall and just so grateful. So thank you so much and God bless. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is Clifford Talley and I'm calling to make my voice heard. Please stop making our kids wear masks to school. They're, for one, ridiculous and don't do anything. And I just ask you to please make it optional and stop doing this to our children. It's ridiculous. It's got to stop. Thank you. 
My name is Melissa Gordon. Today, the data does not support continued mask use. According to the CDC study, masks only decreased transmission of SARS-CoV-2 1.8%, not 50%, not 1.8%. The masks are causing more harm than good. Overexposure of inhalation of carbon dioxide can cause dizziness, headaches, nausea, rapid breathing, shortness of breath, increased heart rate, eye and extremity twitching, cardiac arrhythmia, memory disturbances, lack of concentration, visual and hearing disturbances, sweating, restlessness, vomiting, shaking, flushed skin, and panic, not to mention all of the numerous psychological effects they are causing. It's solely your decision to this abuse. Under Florida Statute 8.7, Section 3, 1B, child abuse is defined as intentional infliction of physical or mental injury upon a child. Two, an intentional act that could reasonably be expected to result in a physical or mental injury to a child. Active encouragement of any person to commit an act that results or could reasonably be expected to result in physical or injury to a child. Please stop this abuse of children. Please make masks optional. Thank you. Hi, my name is Bernadette Helton. I would like to explore this rule board to change the mask mandate for students in brick and mortar school. I would like for there to be no mask or wearing of mask optional. Thank you. Hi, my name is Barbara Yurko. This is in regards to face masks on kids. I believe that it is child abuse to be putting kids in face masks. They deserve and they should be breathing freely. I also think face masks are a medical device and I oversee my children's medical care. And I am putting everyone on notice that I will not have my kids wear face masks in school. I chose to keep them virtual this year, and now that the mask mandates have been lifted, I want to send my kids back to school, and face masks should be optional, and I choose to not have my kids wear face masks. Thank you. Hi, my name is Abby Huebner. I am calling to discuss the masks being optional in school for the remainder of the school year and next school year. Um, our children have a 99.997% chance of surviving and this virus. And this isn't even about math working or not working. It's about common sense and the reasoning for having them. Um, so anyway, it's time. Um, the governor is getting rid of the state of emergency as it is come July. And with that said, the only reason that we have back in place is because of the state of emergency. If there was nothing um, else going on, then this would not be happening in school. So therefore, this is coming to an end. It's time to move on. We have had um, plenty of time to learn that masks are not the answer as our children are now having trouble breathing, are constantly having runny noses, are having acne on their face. There's many negative effects to it. I also have children living in South Florida in 90 degrees with masks on outside. This is completely absurd. We're just trying to make this optional for anybody else who would um, like to continue having their children wear masks. That is totally up to them, but for the rest of us, it is time to have the option so that our children can breathe the fresh air that is good for them. I also think teachers and staff should all have that option as well. Hi, my name is Peggy Stevenson. I am leaving a message about uh, the face mask issue in the public school system. I highly request that masks are optional. I do not want my daughters wearing masks when they go to school. 
was, I was appalled that when our great Governor DeSantis came out and made masks optional, that the schools chose to force the children to wear masks. I don't want my kids wearing masks. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brenda Suntor, and I have three kids that are in the public um, Palm Beach County Schools, and I would like for the mask um, issue that the kids have the option to wear or not wear it. I just think it's um, easier for them to not have to wear them if they don't want to. It should be their choice with the mandate being lifted in um, Florida, and I just think kids do not need to wear masks. Thank you. Hi, my name is Amy Leonetti, L-I-O-N-E-T-T-I. I have an eighth grader at Independence Middle School who will be going into ninth grade in the IB program at Dwyer High School. And I would like the board to consider making masks optional for students. Again, I would like the board to consider uh, making masks optional for students. Um, teachers as well, if the board wishes to consider that as well. Um, math optional, thank you very much. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Derek Bradchulis, B-R-A-D-C-H-U-L-I-S. I've got students, at, uh, or children rather, at uh, Lighthouse Elementary at Deacon Cove Elementary, and I'm calling them uh, under the topic of making math optional in the schools. I don't think anybody should be forced to wear a mask, and I feel that if you want to wear a mask, you should also be able to wear a mask. I think uh, there's a hesitancy to remove the mask requirement, um, but if you look around at a lot of the private schools that have done it, a lot of the daycares that have done it, they don't have any outbreaks of the COVID. Um, you know, there's always going to be isolated instances, but you've got those now. Um, I think that I know from my kids and the kids that they talk with, they'd like to not have to wear the mask. There's also potential negative consequences from wearing masks on your face for the whole eight hours or six hours of bearing in school. So I'd like you guys to please consider, please make the mask optional. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Brandi Hassan, and I am the mother of two little girls a fourth grader and a kindergartner and on their behalf I'm begging you please to make math optional for our kids. Thank you. My name is Lori Colombo. I am calling on the topic of math mandate. I'm asking on the behalf of the children of Palm Beach County School District to please have an option to wear a mask. Based on the science, children are very at low risk and we are asking that the children are given an option to wear a mask or not to wear a mask for the parents' and children's discretion. Thank you. Good evening, school board. Um, this is for the mask optional um, agenda item. And uh, my name is David Yurko. I'm a Palm Beach County resident, and I'm a stay-at-home dad with twin 10-year-old boys. Um, I would like the school board to consider, please, making masks optional for our kids in schools. Um, there's a preponderance of evidence that now shows that masking not only does not work, but it actually harms. Please stop harming our children and causing them to wear masks in school for eight hours a day, six to eight hours a day. Thank you. Hi, my name is David Paul Centaur. My comment is in regards to face, face, face mask wearing at school girls, and I would like that to be optional. Once again, optional for face mask wearing at schools. David Paul Centaur. Thank you. My name is Alicia Roundtree. I have four children in the Palm Beach County School System. 
please remove the mask mandates that have been placed on our children. They need to be able to make a choice, and so do we. Thank you. My name is Nicole Bell. Please unmask our children and teachers. Make masks optional. Okay, board members, that's the end of our recorded, recorded messages.